Hey, what's up, everyone? I just picked up something pretty interesting I thought I'd share with you. Uh, I purchased uh, a little something from Spiderco. A little bigger than usual, that box. And um, what it is, is a, uh, a knife from uh, their Mule Team series. If you don't know what the Mule Team series is, uh, it's basically, they're kind of like um, sample knives that they make in different types of um, steels. And the purpose is to provide them to people so that they can either use them in, uh, let's put this here, they can use them in uh, different kits to make their own knives and then kind of test the performance to see how they work. Uh, this particular knife, let's kind of get to the specs here, is, uh, let's see, about seven and three quarters inches long and the blade is uh, just about three and a half inches. Nice blade profile. You got the you got the spidey hole going on there. It was created in Seki City, Japan. Like a lot of their knives, like the Delega. And the steel that's being checked out here by the Mule Team is the SRS13 slash SUS405. This is pretty interesting. I had never heard of these steels before. Uh, I believe the last uh, Mule Team knife that they put out was the Magna Cut one, and unfortunately I missed out on that. I don't think they put, it's a pretty limited thing. The, um, I don't think they put too many of them out, and when they do put them out, uh, at, at least this time, they only limited you to, I believe, one per household. Um, now, they do sell a uh, Kydex sheath that you could buy for it, if you like, and a leather sheath. I'm going to pick up that leather sheath. Uh, as far as the scales go, you can either make your own or they have uh, some G10 scales you can purchase. They're black and they are uh, $45, I think, for the scales. It's all at Spiderco.com. If you get a chance, go to Spiderco.com and uh, <clears throat> on the left, go to Products and then Mule Team and you can read all about it. And It's pretty cool stuff. It's a very cool project. And like I said, if I saw another one pop up in maybe six months or a year, I'd pick up another one. Um, I was thinking about getting the G10. Then I was thinking maybe I could try and make some uh, some scales. I was thinking about possibly um, making some wood scales. But then I kind of think, well, a G10, mine might not be perfect. Actually, they won't be perfect. Um, but I'm wondering if I could get them to look decent. And I kind of doubt that. I know I could make the scales, but how good are they? So I'm wondering if I should just break down and buy the G10. I think that's going to end up happening. Um, <clears throat> So this uh, this steel, from what I see, is supposed to be uh, pretty high-end, and it's used in a lot of Japanese knives. And uh, in case you're wondering, uh, this came pretty sharp. I, I was actually, I shouldn't be, but I was shocked, shocked at how sharp it was. I mean, this is, like, effortless. This is amazing. Right out of the box, I did nothing to this. I just got it about uh, about a half hour ago, so... Pretty cool right there. And uh, it came with this uh, letter, which I will um, just probably read a little bit to you, and um, maybe you can pause it to read some of the rest. I'll just leave this here so you can, if you want to pause and just read what came. Uh, basically, dear Spyderco customer, congratulations on your purchase of the Spyderco MT32 Mule Team Blade. And they explain what the purpose of the, the uh, Mule Team is. And then they uh, go on to in some detail. They say the SUS-405 is a... Actually, let me go up a little bit more. Um, and it features a laminated San Mai three-layer construction comprised of a central core of SRS-13 clad between layers of SUS-405 developed by Nachi Fujikoshi Corporation. SRS-13 is a unique Martin martensitic stainless steel produced by the powder metallurgy process. Enriched with molybdenum, vanadium, and tungsten, it can achieve a working hardness of HRC64, but is often tempered to a lower hardness to yield a tougher edge. SRS13's fine grain structure allows it to take and hold extremely sharp edge, making it the steel choice for many premium grade Jap Japanese kitchen knives. The SUS405 is a ferritic stainless steel with 0.08% carbon. Its dimensional properties are compatible with SRS-13, but when heat treated in the same way, its lower uh, carbon content yields a lower hardness, 
by using SUS-45 as the outer layers of the MT-32's three-layer construction. It provides greater overall strength and toughness while allowing the hard SRS-13 core to excel at providing exceptional cutting performance. The SRS-13's finely tuned recipe of alloys include carbon 1.3%, chromium 13%, tungsten 1.25%, molybdenum 2.75%, vanadium 1.5%, manganese 0.30%, and silicon 0.30%. The particle metallurgy process used to produce it ensures that these alloys are evenly distributed throughout the material to create a fine homogeneous microstructure. And uh, on the other side, it's pretty cool because then it, it gives you some suggestions about what you might want to do. Um, and I will, I'm just going to, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but I'm just going to kind of hold this for you so you can pause it if you like just to kind of read what they wrote and I'll just move this up a little bit but basically they they encourage you I mean they know some people are going to buy these they're going to make uh, you know make uh, kit knives for themselves or maybe they'll buy the scales and uh, maybe just save them as a collectible or use it very sparingly but they they also know that some people really do want to test them uh, and they think it's kind of a cool thing to do and I just think it's awesome that they basically give you the blanks that they use and uh, encourage you to do cool stuff and kind of test it. And then they encourage the feedback from them. So uh, it looks like some really cool stuff. I will definitely be getting the next one when they come out because I just think it's great. And, you know, they, the size of the, the handle, like I said, let's see, let's measure it right from here. Um Let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe about four and a quarter inches. It's really a nicely sized knife, too. Um, let's see if I can get this caliper working. We'll get an idea of what the blade stock is. Okay, let's let's take a look right here. One point four. That's not right. Okay, let's do inches. Yeah, that doesn't, this is a little bit off here. Let's zero it. Yeah, that's not right. That's a lot thicker than 0.05. That's going to be at least 0.11, I think, or 0.12. So, if you are unaware of these, uh, these mule knives, I just wanted to make you aware. Uh, if you like making knife scales and sheaths. Personally, I don't know much about the leather work, unfortunately, so I won't be making my own leather sheath. I, I kind, I'm still kind of kicking around with making the uh, the scales, though, because I do have some, some pieces of wood here. Um, I have some mahogany I think would be kind of cool, to be honest with you. So I'm thinking that might be a possibility that I could make something decent. But then do I want something that's kind of decent, or do I want something that actually is probably more functional? That's why I'm kind of thinking that I'd spend so much time doing it and I'll kind of get like a lackluster um, result. Whereas if I just buy the G10, I'll get a really cool result right off the bat. So I'm really leaning that way more and more. I might actually go buy them after this video. <laughs> I should stop dragging my feet, right? So uh, that's all I have for you tonight. Don't forget, check out spiderco.com. Click products, then click mule, te uh, mule team. And uh, it'll give you a little bit of, a, like I said, a little more of a history of the program than what I gave you, some of the details. Um, you can check out some of the things they've done. I think they've been doing this for like 15 years, 16 years. So it's actually a longstanding uh, program that they've had. And I'm a little ashamed to say I didn't know about it until recently. I was watching a video on uh, Metal Complex. And uh, somebody, if you haven't checked out his YouTube station, does a lot of great knife videos. And someone uh, sent him a Mule Team knife, and it was really cool. So give that a give that a look when you get a chance. Uh, if you've gotten this far, I would appreciate it if you consider subscribing or liking the videos. Have a good one.